Hello there, Erner here, and today we will review Abentis. Abentis are led by Palamides, hero who is great at killing many infantry units. He got a lot of abilities to even reduce enemies or boost your own units and to kill more units. Uh, this faction is uh, island faction, just like Ithaca, it got, it got access to islanders, which are very weak, but he, thanks to Unspotable, it can be a valuable flanker or surprise unit. Then we got Young Spears, standard charger unit, very good at dueling, nice charge and nice, a nice weapon. And as alternative, we got Euburn Club Warriors, who are slightly better at charging thanks to their Furious Charge ability. It will reduce enemy defense on the impact. Then we got Euburn Militia, who is uh, defensive thanks to Expert Charge defense. It might not have so good weapon or stats as Spearman, but it is able to negate enemy charge completely. Then on we got Island Club Warriors, which are solid uh, duelist, uh, very good with unspotable. They got solid weapon, and for the front line we can go with Light Spearman, who got strong weapon and good defensive stats, but are very light and can be quite squishy. Next we got Euburn colonists who got also decent stats and are pretty good flankers thanks to flanking attack improved, some javelins and overall good stats. For the mid game frontline we got Euburn spearmen who got uh, solid weapon and good stats. Uh, not not only charge defense, but with improved de defense from flanking is very nice in uh, big battles. So I do recommend using these guys. And for charging we have even stronger and more fearsome Euburn chargers who, who got not only furious charge, but are able to inflict more flanking from all other directions. Thanks to their strong weapon and charge, you will be able to uh, finish off enemy units very quickly. And don't forget this amazing speed. Next, we got Eubian Clubmen. They are similar to Club Warriors, uh, but they have shield. So these guys are like club warriors but with shield and as we know club warriors are solid flanking and dueling unit. So this will be very good unit for your gameplay. In the late game we got companions of Palamedes. Uh, they are very solid at dueling. They got amazing weapon and solid stats. They can do flanking as well. And most, more importantly, they can encourage other units to fight for longer. For the front line, we got very solid Eubean renowned Spearman, who got amazing defense, solid weapon. They also get expert charge defense. And on top of that, we got more stamina thanks to strong vigor. So these guys, they are not heavy, they are medium. Therefore, they will take eat less stamina, so they will keep their defense uh, for longer than other front lines. And for the most elite chargers, we got Eubean Noble Chargers, who got a very strong weapon and charging, and additionally, they can cause fear to quickly route enemy units. Then we go for the missiles. We start with Echian Slings, uh, standard, very good, recommended missile unit. 
We got island skirmishers, which are standard but not so good. We got Eubian archers, which are in improvement of the bowmen, which is uh, good at skirmishing thanks to battlefield healing. Here is the bowman, which is weak unit, not recommended, and if you compare, the Eubian archers are better on almost every aspect. Then we got heavy island skirmishers, quite solid skirmishing unit on the mid game. It got nice javelins. You can use them even though they are quite slow. For skirmishing instead we can go with Eubian veteran archers. You will utilize battlefield healing. Uh, so you can switch your archers back and forth and you can take some damage with them. Then we got renowned island skirmishers, absolutely strong uh, missile unit, not because of the javelins, but in melee it got very good combat stats and amazing weapons, so once you run out of ammunition this will be very strong. Uh, sword unit on the battlefield. And the very last, Eubian Renowned Archers, a solid archer unit in the late game, like many others, this one got battlefield healing. These guys are like both of my Cine, but slightly better stats. Then for the chariots, uh, we, we don't have access to melee chariots, uh, but just like Itaka, we got access to skirmish, skirmish chariots and the Rainforce skirmish chariots. Uh, I do not recommend them, only the Rainforced skirmish chariot is good in melee, otherwise use a lot of terrain and avoid open fields. Now I will show you one nice battle, how you can go with uh, this faction, we got standard front, we got some front line, some skirmishers, and we will be heavily using our chargers. So, since we are going to be attacked by enemies, we can prepare and position ourselves. Our spears with 51 52 defense will be very nice for holding. Then we are planning to use archers from the trees, it's much better since they will be eating some missiles much better. Is under attack. And in general, okay, I will slow down. Our front line is going to pin units right here, and our chargers are going to apply apply the furious charge. Look at this the defense. They got 55 defense but now it dropped to 42 and it is all because of the furious charge ability. Eventually uh, we will pull back our chargers so our frontline can keep fighting them. Uh, we are nicely trading uh, damage from missiles because trees and scraps give, gives us some protection. And then we should pull back our clubs and move them on the winning flank. Since these guys are very fast, we are able to maneuver and catch enemy missile units and then do the flanking for the victory. Even on half HP they are going to do a lot of Victory damage and win quickly against missiles. Our hero did very well and is able to support frontline and and as you can see enemy line is collapsing, their units are running around and we are able to come and finish hero very quickly. So this is an example how you can play the Abantes 
to achieve decisive or even heroic victories on your gameplay. That is all, see you later.